Hi, I'm Tani, and we're standing outside the beautiful Mandalay Bay Hotel on Las Vegas Boulevard. Welcome to our show. And I'm Pete Allman. Tonight we're going to be talking to Boys to Men. And we'll talk to Ricky Iglesias and special guest celebrities. So now, Boys to Men. Boys to Men have an international following, especially in Korea. The group truly believes their music is universal and that it brings harmony to the world. It's not all about the old, it's about the new, the new vision of reality. Boys to men. Sean, I got to tell you, you know, I was watching you lose on stage. Now, our friend does move, but man, this is the new moves of the century. Sean is the movement. Yeah, the movement. It's, it's the rhythm. I got the rhythm in me. The music. The music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all about just uh, going on stage and just entertaining, just having fun and, and performing. And I, I love this. I, I have fun doing it and I enjoy it. So, you know, those little extra moves and things of that nature is just me yeah. just having fun. Just yeah. enjoy myself. Right. Well, your single turned platinum in Japan and you yeah. know Japan is a great place. Yeah. Talk about the message yeah. of the single. Well, well basically um, it's pretty self-explanatory. The chorus is basically telling those uh, people who are in a relationship that don't really get a lot of love or any love at all, don't let the real love that you could have pass you by. Um, you know, don't let uh, a situation pass you by. Don't let a good opportunity in your life pass you by, especially if the opportunity that you have or the situation that you're in right now isn't working. So that's basically what it's about. Talking about the glory of show business, people really don't realize how much hard work goes into the choreograph and the movement of what you do. Yeah. Talk about it. Well, uh, choreography and, and movements are, are what uh, they they staple, they, they staple the uh, show in people's minds. Not only do the uh, vocals play a big part in the show, but those other things is, is what give the entertainment value, you know what I'm saying? They, they give the entertainment value and make, yeah, give us something to do on stage instead of rock back and forth. And um, the show's energy, I mean, of course, we could stand there and sing and people will probably feel it, but, you know, just to, to stamp something else in their head, let them know that when we come back, there's going to be a lot more uh, entertainment to offer to people, you know what I mean, with voice to men, you know? Let's find a little bit about the secret of tranquility. You know me, I'm always talking about philosophy, but seriously, we've got a hectic uh, schedule. It's going to continue to be that way. Where do you find your peace of mind? Uh, save the dream, Cass. Yes. <laughs> 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 No, tell us no, the no, honestly, no. Actually, those are those are one of the things. I mean, <laughs> like we, it helps our, it helps, I guess, distract, you know, our minds from, I guess, us being as tired as we may be or something like that. I mean, reading uh, the Most High, definitely God, just blessing us with the peace of mind to say, okay, this is what you guys wanted, this is what you wanted to do, and He gives us that 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 peace to say, okay, this is what you know it's about. So. We just go out and do it every night. Well, how do you know that? Uh, write songs, write movies, uh, just sit back and watch TV and just uh, be entertained for a change. You know? Movies? Yes. Uh, what, what movies? I, I write. I write a lot of different films and then I might sit back and just watch whatever's on uh, HBO, Showtime, whatever's on out there. I just mellow out and find it and become a couch potato. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing to mellow out? Oh, what I do to mellow out? Mm. No, I actually bellow out. <laughs> football, right, like football. I want to keep my sanity, you know, I'm, I try to, you know, play a lot of games, you know what I'm saying? I guess stay youthful. But I mean, you know, to chill out, you know, listen to some jazz and, you know, chill out and read a book or just lay down and think. 
thinking is good. <laughs> to learn a lot, I, I read a lot, you know what I mean? I read the, the Bible a lot, you know what I'm saying? Just to gain some knowledge, you know what I mean? Understanding, wisdom, and I, you know, I, I, I meditate with the Most High in prayer, you know what I mean? Try to, that's how I met a lot, you know? I do other things for recreation, but, you know, that's recreation also, but I, I utilize that to uh, keep my mind at ease and put my life in perspective. Music certainly brings people's problems to a halt when they're listening to it, and hopefully, hopefully it makes things a little better for their life and gives them hope. Music is very spiritual. Music is uh, that, that element that um, somehow it, it's a divine gift, you could say, because um, music is probably one of the only things on this planet that when you hear a song on the radio, it, it, it's like a form of time travel, like makes sense. It's like when you hear a certain song, you go right back to that moment when you first heard it. You know exactly where you were. You know you almost know what kind of clothes you had on, what car you were in. If you were in, a, you know what I'm saying. It's like, and it also brings back fond memories. It brings back somber or sad memories. You know what I mean? Music is just a powerful, powerful tool, and um, it's definitely spiritually based. You know what I mean? It massages the soul.